independently published. But they do a nice job of partnering that with a further initiative of education, uh, where Kirsten and her staff are constantly doing web videos and doing educational seminars to equip their authors to execute on high-level strategy. That's assistant self-publishing. We do the same thing under Movable Type Lab, uh, where our relationships with various technology companies from production to distribution to marketing allow us to act quickly and to service authors in fresh ways. Uh, our big success story from last year was the Jeremy Lin ebook that we did in six days with the book um, after it's uh, shot on February 14th, almost a year ago, uh, that catapulted him to national fame. We knew we had a very, very small window. And while publishers were acquiring titles that they were going to publish four months later to uh, very little success, uh, we were working with a technology publisher to publish a, a book on Jeremy Lin in six days, uh, which we then sold in half a dozen Asian territories and actually netted for that author more on that little book that he wrote in 72 hours than he did on all of the novels that we sold for him over the past couple of years to big major houses. Um, that's assisted self-publishing, where the author remains in control, the author is, is pushing, um, but the agent is bringing expertise to the table. A second way I see radical mediation in action, um, I'm going to use our, one of our own initiatives as an example, is what we're calling the author collective. Um, I do believe that sometimes we do things better in aggregate than we do as individuals, and I think publishing is one of those things. Another reason I don't think indie author is exactly the term we need to settle on to describe what we do. Author collectives are a way for an agency to gather together writers who work in a common category or a common genre, or who share a, cer a certain vibe or a certain voice, uh, to partner with one another and create bigger gravity because of greater mass. So instead of each of us competing with one another like fragments in the universe, we come together to, to create bigger masses where we can be more effective and provide more weight on the market and benefit one another. So our, uh, our experiment in this category is the roguereader.com, R-O-G-U-E reader.com, which is our mystery, thriller, and suspense imprint, as you were. All of our authors are self-publishing. We're just doing it for them. Uh, we're providing a little bit of capital for good cover design and quality copy edit. Uh, we're providing some capital for marketing. Um, in exchange for that, they get a brand that is bigger than any one of them could have created on their own. And the third way that I see radical mediation in action is, uh, the sort of, if you're looking at this as a continuum, there's assisted self-publishing on one end, which is sort of um, hybrid radical mediator light. Right, where they're, they're still doing most of the things traditional agents do, but they're adding a sort of layer of helping you get some things done better. In the middle is sort of a, um, a mix of bringing a traditional publishing um, talent to the table in editorial design and marketing promotion, but still keeping the agent model where we're only taking a set percentage of, of rights, but we're providing sort of more managed care. And then on the far end, if we're looking at this continuum, is the um, sort of discrete, independent publishing arm of an agency or a publishing uh, company that is affiliated with an agency. And I think a, a good example of, of a successful one is Scott Waxman's Diversion Books, which is entirely separate from his agency, but he brings all of his publishing knowledge to bear on what it would mean to publish successfully. Um, and so there's a tight relationship between Waxman and Diversion, allowing Waxman to sort of serve his clients in multiple ways. But all of that he knows about agent manage management, all that he knows about what it means to make titles succeed at a bestseller level, are brought to bear on a discrete publishing community and a discrete publishing company that functions entirely independently, um, but is run by an agent. And I think that makes sense too. 